So I'm Michael Chadwick. I'm a lead software engineer at Alteryx, and I want to talk to you about the pit of success versus the pit of failure, or in some cases, the um, uh, ancient Aztec, uh, ancient booby-trapped Aztec temple of fail, as I heard recently in a talk, um, uh, specifically around uh, file system path objects. So some of you may be familiar with this already. Um, if you look at the uh, docs for a file system path, um, you have this little note uh, on these uh, these four through six constructors here that are taking arbitrary uh, character encoding ranges. Um, you see if the source character type is char, then the encoding is assumed to be the native narrow encoding of the OS. Um, and then, you know, various other char types, and then wchar, uh, the native wide encoding of the OS. Um, so Windows, the native encoding is wchar. Uh, on Linux, the native encoding is char. Uh, typically on Linux, the native encoding of that char is UTF-8. On Windows, the native encoding is not UTF-8. Uh, it is locale dependent. Um, on all of your computers, or most of your computers, I should say, uh, if you're in the US, it's probably Latin 1. So that brings me to my code sample. I have a nice little UTF-8 char star here. I put it in a std string. I'm in C++ 17, so I don't have you know, anything fancy U8 chars. I construct a path from my std string, and then I print it out using the, the native representation of path. And what do I get? Well, that's not what I put in. It's not what I put in at all. Uh, on Linux, of course, this looks nice. It's exactly what I put in. Um, so what I have to do here to make this actually work on Windows is I have to do a conversion to wchar and then use that to construct the path. And then, hey, Windows shows up fine. And for reasons that I did not have time to investigate, because I literally wrote these examples in the last 20 minutes, um, Linux blows up. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> but this is really great for a uh, cross-platform code base. It makes, uh, it makes working with path objects really fun, because you have a UTF-8 UTF encoded string. You know it's UTF-8, because that's, that's how it is in, in your code base. And you want to work with the file system library. You want to use their APIs. You construct a path object. Everything's great. It goes really great, because you don't have any UTF characters in, in the file paths on, on your machine that you tested with. And uh, then, you know, maybe, hopefully, you think to actually create a test that, that does exercise that, and then you have to, to find this and, and fix it and have probably some kind of if def or, or some other kind of solution to make it work for both, both platforms. But if you're not lucky and you didn't think to write that test, then you, know, you deploy the code to your user's machine in Japan, let's say, and uh, they're upset because it's broken. In some cases, it may not even start. Can't load, can't load the config files. Um, so to me, that's a problem. I don't really have a solution um, for a, uh, a, a legacy code base that already has this all over the place. I know in C++ 20, C++ 23, we have things like UHR, U8 string, and we have those are integrated with file system path so that behaves nicely. But that's not the situation I have here. So that's it. I just thought I'd share that.